What's going on everybody? Matt with Lathro Media and then this video we're inside 3D Studio Max again. 3DS Max 2021 to be exact and what we're going to be doing is sweeping. So grab your broom and dustpan and let's get started. Now just because of stupid COVID lockdown doesn't mean that you're going to actually be doing any sweeping. What I mean by sweeping is, is we're going to model this gooseneck feature of you know this hanging lamp and in order to do so, we're gonna use the sweep modifier. So first and foremost, we're gonna come up here to our create tab, go down here to um, our uh, shapes, go into splines and then go to line. And drop your point and then we're going to just roughly outline this, uh, hold and drag if you want to bezier uh, that it for those of you who are unfamiliar with Bezier, uh, it's also used in you know Affinity Designer, um, Adobe Illustrator. Eh, it's got some uh, uses well in stuff like uh, After Effects, but eh, we're close enough um, to the general shape. We have to refine this a little bit, so we're going to come up here to our Modify tab, uh, hit the little arrow next to Line, and click Vertex. Now I could drag this around, and then I can also pick and grab my handles. Now, just so you understand, when you generally when you pick and start dragging them, they're linked, uh, so they do the same. Like both sides will do the same thing. Uh, actually, let me. Yeah, that looks good enough, but this one has to be adjusted. Um, so if you want to you know, manipulate one side but not both, you hold the shift button down. That'll allow you to modify one handle of the, uh, the Bezier Vertex, not both at the same time. Allows you to fine tune things a little bit. And actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pick this guy, move this, Try that again, move that over. All right, good enough for government work. We'll start with that. So from here, it's actually not too hard. We're just gonna go into, let's scroll down in our modifier list and go to sweep. Go ahead and click that bad boy. Now, as you can see, actually we'll turn off our reference image first. Um, it starts off with, you know, your pre-built selection or pre-built in section, sorry. And you can actually assign different shapes, which makes this good for, you know, doing tracking and, and whatnot. Uh, especially for those of you out there that are doing, uh, architectural modeling. Uh, but you have the ability to pick different shapes here. And in this case, we're just going to go down the pipe real simple, real easy. Let's turn our reference image back on as you can see I mean it's a little eh here in this uh, corner but what you can do is you can come back to your vertex points play with these I'm just gonna do something extreme so you see that it updates and just go back and forth and there we go back and forth and get it to where dad have it you like what you see in the end run I'm not gonna mess with this because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it but you have some other things to play with um, as far as your parameters are concerned you can have your radius here in this case it's three inch because I didn't bother scaling anything for this uh, little mini tutorial uh, and then you also have your thickness so obviously thickness of the pipe of the gauge of the pipe and then how large of a pipe it acts and then uh, yeah that's pretty much about it you can start plugging other things there we go uh along to go with it but that's just a rough introduction to sweep if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop them in the comment box below uh hopefully this helps somebody that's just getting into it but you know you you want uh, the reader's digest version you don't want the entire book right or at least some of you out there are like that i am kind of one of them i like to learn as i go but i need some direction the rest I fill in along the way. 
but uh, yeah until next time um, if you guys found this beneficial at all hit the thumbs up button and uh, I'll catch you guys later <laughs>